O Brave New World that has such people in it. Aldous Huxley's Brave New World was uh, a modern uh, work of science fiction. Um, one of these utopian slash dystopian novels. I think it was written intentionally to be dystopian. But I'm sure there are people out there that would have considered it utopian. In other words, um, all of life's problems seem to have been conclusively solved. It's a state that's built entirely upon pleasure. Uh, very little coercion is actually uh, required. Humans are engineered, to essentially, to be happy. When they're not happy, they pop a pill, and then they become happy. Um, one assumes that the advances of pharmaco pharmacology have uh, so refined um, happy pills, feel-good drugs or whatever, that um, they've perfected a drug with no side effects, no coming down, no hangover, no addictive properties, and a drug that doesn't uh, prevent you from acting well in the real world. I wonder if that's sort of a, um, a sort of pill that would cure Benatar of antinatalism. Let's say that we could pop a pill that would abolish harm, that would abolish any negative feelings at all. I don't think that that's beyond the realm of, uh, of science, especially when you consider that Brave New World took place about 500 years from now. In spite of the antinatalist be best efforts, and in spite of what a lot of people think, I suspect that the human race is going to be slogging along 500 years from now, uh, probably will have been uh, traumatized, self-traumatized, but I believe that it's going to be around. Now, we're probably going to go through some dark ages, some other golden ages or whatever, but I, I rather suspect that the human drama is going to be going on. There's just no reason to believe that it's just suddenly going to come crashing to a halt. Um, now, let's say 500 years of research into drugs has produced a drug where when you feel bad, you take a drug and you feel better. You see, depression, for the longest time, was treated as um, something that's sort of uh, morally to be cured. Uh, you just weren't thinking right. You needed a stiffer upper lip, that sort of thing. You needed to lower your expectations or um, heighten your uh, willpower. We know that that's kind of... It works for some people, but it's pretty insane for a lot of people because they've got something wrong with their central nervous system. Ask anyone who has actually been successfully treated with antidepressants, and they will tell you the miracle of modern pharmacology. And I'm just talking about antidepressants, the sort of thing that's very easy to get uh, prescribed these days. Um, it's nothing short of a miracle. I have an aunt who was a complete wreck and who was treated with relatively simple antidepressants, made a miraculous recovery. D to some people, it does nothing. It doesn't help because, again, depression has many causes. Let's take that one step further. Let's say that we agree with uh, Benatar that um, any suffering is unacceptable. Any negative state of consciousness is unacceptable. In Aldous Huxley's Brave New World, that was essentially the state philosophy. Being deprived of pleasure, um, even being stricken with boredom, was considered intolerable to the people that lived there. So they developed the wonder drug Soma. Swallow that. You're not bored. You're not depressed. Uh, you are fulfilled. You don't have to do anything, essentially. You feel just great. <clears throat> In a sense, that's kind of uh, almost a road along the... Uh, or Sorry, a, a milestone on the road uh, to the brain and the vat, I suppose, because then you just rig up uh, the brain and make sure that it's constantly fed piles of soma and uh, next thing you know you don't really need anything else because consciousness is just one long drug holiday and in Brave New World of course you they were called soma holidays and then your body didn't age 
and you just poof died. I don't know the age. I think about 120 or something like that. You're with, and you had the body essentially of a 20 year old when you died. Um, science. I think that we've only started to see what science is capable of, and some people um, find themselves not wanting to ask the questions that are implicit in the uh, ongoing. Uh, march of science. I won't say progress, I won't say regress, but it is changing everything for the better and for the worse, of course. Um, but uh, we may come up with something that's a lot more efficient than heroin or cocaine, a lot more efficient than, uh, than crystal meth or anything like that. If we simply get away from our moral uh, revulsion for drugs and uh, our worry that it's going to somehow bring us all crashing to a halt. I'm not really advocating this sort of point of view because I think my modern sort of mental makeup sort of militates against this sort of thing to, to think that, you know, we, again, I, I don't like simple answers, but can you imagine if we did develop a pill that solved everything and kept us alive and in a state of fulfillment, fulfillment, happiness? If we are indeed nothing more than receptors of, uh, of impulses, I'm sure that that could be arranged. Um, why wouldn't we want to? I, I, I go along with the conclusions of Brave New World in which it's implied that this utopia is actually a dystopia. But again, a lot of people say that no, it wasn't. It's one of those things that it's unclear in the course of the book whether or not the Brave New World is a good or a bad thing. Um, it's left open. I, Aldous Huxley implies that it is a bad thing, but it's unclear. You, you may actually be tempted to think of it as a utopia, as a perfect society. Um, pain, harm, has been conclusively abolished the second it becomes intolerable, and they have a very low thresholds of tolerability of, uh, or uh, toleration, uh, tolerance of uh, unpleasantness. Take a pill, you're happy. Um, that do, does seem to me to be the sort of antinatalist antidote to antinatalism, um, because even in a bleak universe, we know that euphoria can be uh, chemically induced indefinitely uh, if the, we get the drugs right. Would an antinatalist be willing to put up with a physical universe that uh, operates like that? The human race that could engineer itself that way? Don't rule it out. That might be the way of the future. Thank you.